Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So I'm not long out of the shower as you can see by the wet hair and um, I thought I'd do some videos and I wanted to start with um, these Velvet Trap lipsticks. There's definitely two I haven't tried. I think it's the Celebrity Skin OG shade that I haven't actually tried yet and Lee Berlin. I think the other one, Palion or Palontologist, not quite sure how to pronounce that one. That one uh, I think I have tried and I've worn a few times. Um, I really love the Velvet Trap formula. It's so nice and smooth and creamy. It does actually feel velvety. I would say it definitely doesn't stay on as well as liquid lipsticks, but it does still have lasting power. It's very comfortable to wear. And for me, I've never been one. I don't really mind reapplying as long as it's not off in like five seconds, which it isn't. Um, so yeah, I really, really like these. And just really sort of looking at the shades today, I'll do hand swap. I'll kind of come a bit closer and do lip swatches as well. Um, but yeah, so let's actually start with that one then. So the uh, palin Paleontologist, Paleontologist. I can't remember what that means. I remember Jeffrey said what it meant. Was it something to do with life or... I can't remember. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen these before, they come in a really nice little cardboard box. The shade is on the top and the name is kind of written in what shade it is. And then also you've got the shade name at the bottom, so Paleontologist. Um, and then it's all pink. You've got kind of this embossed effect. And then it has got the really nice like magnetic bit and just a twist top. So yeah, I have tried this one before, but this is what it looks like. So it does look quite brown, slightly orangey. Um, so I'll do a little swatch just on my hand here. Look at that, just one swipe, so creamy and nice. I'll layer it up a little bit. That is a really nice shade. It's got a slight orange to it, and I love lipsticks that have got that slight orange effect to them. I don't know, I just think it looks good on my skin. Obviously, I'm super pale, um, but I just think that kind of suits me. So let me creep forward a bit. My lips are a little bit dry at the moment, so it's probably not a good time to actually do this video. <laughs> So there's that one on. I do think these have a scent, by the way. Um, I think it's like vanilla again. I think like vanilla frosting or a like cupcake smell. Very, very subtle, very, very light. And I like that, nothing too overpowering, but there's a little bit of something that's quite nice and a bit sweet. Um, but yeah, this is this one. So it does look quite dark on me. I feel like with all of these shades, like even, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I get one that's really light and then it almost looks like concealer lips. And then other times I get ones a little bit dark and they seem too dark. I can't always find a sort of middle ground. But yeah, I think it's really pretty. Yeah, it's definitely got sort of an orangey sort of deep sort of colour. Um, yeah, it's a hard, hard colour to describe. It's sort of an orangey brown, but yeah, I really love that one. I think it's really nice. So let's try, what should we go for next? Let's maybe go for Celebrity Skin. I'm quite excited about this because um, obviously we had the whole fiasco of the first one. Wasn't really the right kind of shade for Celebrity Skin. Um, so then we had this new formula. I never actually had the first one. To me, I sort of looked at it at the time and I thought I didn't really like it, to be honest, or I didn't think it looked that nice. But I do like Celebrity Skin in like kind of the um, other formulas and I have kind of the smaller velour lipsticks. And I also have the, the lip ammo, I think, of Celebrity Skin as well. I mean, even those were quite different, but yeah, I wanted to definitely get the sort of OG one. Um, so this is what this one looks like. So immediately it looks a bit lighter, I think, than the other one. Um, still obviously a very nice nude. I always find Celebrity Skin is like a little bit grey, but I think it is very flattering on so many skin tones, which is why it's so popular. So I might do a little swatch of that right next to the Paleontologist one. I feel like I'm completely mispronouncing that one. Oh, look at that. It looks much warmer on the hand. It's almost actually very similar to that other one, but it definitely looks a bit lighter, which should be nice. Um, yeah, slightly less orange, perhaps. Those are actually incredibly similar now. Maybe I didn't really need both, but a girl can never have enough lipsticks, right? <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, pop this one on. Yeah, so now that I've got that on, I can see it's definitely lighter than the last one. It looks a bit grey, honestly. I think the lighting in here is kind of bad. I am sorry for that. I need a, a better light. I need like a nice little ring light or something, I think. I'll have to invest in that. But I've got a little light right here. And when I'm kind of looking in the mirror up to the light, it looks so pretty. It's more grey on camera, I think, but it looks just much more kind of natural um, when I'm looking up to the light. Sort of everyday kind of nude, I think it's so nice. I wonder if I can even just take the camera for a second. Um, there we go, you might get a better sense of it like that. I know this is not an ideal angle, but I just feel like you can see the color a bit better. I might need to do that for all of these. 
Uh, it's so pretty. It has got that slight orangey, peachy, pink, loads of different things. No, that's a really, really nice one, actually. Um, I can see why people love that shade, but I think that is the best celebrity skin one yet. So yeah, really happy with that. And then we're just down to the last one. I'm glad I only had three, actually, because my lips would have been so sore. Um, there are definitely some other ones I want to get. There was sort of an orangey, peachy, almost coral shade, actually, Honey Suck Me, which I did a video on before. I'll link that all down below if you want to see that one or... Jeffrey, other Jeffree Star videos. I've done quite a few um, swatches and stuff of different things, mainly lipsticks, to be honest. Um, and yeah, there's a new orangey one. I think it's called Orange Prick, and I was kind of tempted by that. There's a couple more glosses I would like to get, um, but I just kind of got these free. I mean, these are quite good price points, to be fair, for a nice lipstick, but I feel like I see them more as a treat kind of now and then rather than just buying every single shade when I want it. Um, but yeah, I mean, if there's more like sales and promotions, I buy them always off Beauty Bay, and sometimes you get 20% off and stuff like that. And I always try to do videos on them, even if they've been out for a while. I think it can always be useful because there's probably people like me who also buy them later on or when there's sales anyway here's the last one. Oh, this looks nice so this one definitely looks much more different to the other two this one looks i'd say definitely a bit darker more orangey yeah so this is libra lynn i can't remember if i've tried this one before i feel like this also came in a velour liquid lipstick i could be wrong and i feel like it was really dark i wasn't too keen on it hopefully this will look nice i do like a darker lipstick sometimes and i think on the video sometimes when your lips pop a bit it's nicer than maybe in person sometimes that's probably a bad space because my hand is curving oh look at that that's really different, isn't it? So you can see that is much more different. And now, actually, I feel like you can see the difference between these shades, how much lighter that one is. So this one is much brighter, I would say. Looking at this one, it's not too much darker. It's just a bit brighter. Definitely got that orange tone again. I, I just, like I said, I just think they're really flattering for me. Um, I try and I don't really buy lipsticks on a whim. I do really try to look at loads of swatches. I watch videos, which is also why I like to do them because I think they're really helpful. Um, I really try and decide what I think would definitely suit me. Um, but yeah, this looks nice. So let's try it. There we go. So yeah, you can see it is a bit darker, but I quite like it is it's brighter, but it's not in your face, not like neon. Like I said, some of Jeffree's colours are really quite bright. I remember, oh, what was that lipstick I had once, a bright pink one? I think it was Baby Spice, the lip ammo, and it was so nice, but it was like so bright pink, and it just always felt a bit too much. Um, I personally do prefer a bit more of a kind of natural, muted down look. Um, but yeah, this is really, really nice, nice and orangey. I, I'm really happy with all of these, to be honest. They're all, they all are quite distinctive. I was worried those two were too similar, um, but actually, when you have each one on, they all look really different. So let me take the camera out again because like I said, it does look different. So if I sort of face towards the light, now you can see me in all my absolutely no makeup apart from lipstick. Um, it looks much more orangey, but I think that's nice. I think that does suit me. Obviously I could put a bit of mascara on and put some other makeup on, but yeah, I think that's really, really nice. So that is uh, the free lipsticks. Uh, yeah, like I said, I really love the formula. I think they're all really nice. Happy with all of these shades. I think as long as you do carefully look at those swatches and maybe do a bit of extra research like watching this video, hopefully you can pick ones that are suitable for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I know the lighting is not brilliant. Hopefully sort of turning the camera a bit was helpful. I know I didn't do that for the first one. Um, hopefully you still had a good sense of the colours and the hand swatches there as well on a pale person like me. Um, but yeah, thanks so much guys please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye